And we are back. Welcome to game two of Reinhardt versus Bryan College in baseball. The series is currently tied 1-1. We're about to start. And leading off for Reinhardt, we have Jarrett Bernie. And then I have my co-announcer, Ryan Ely, is back with me. He's going to give you the lineups real quick for Reinhardt. Uh, batting first, as he said, is Jarrett Bernie playing third base. Uh, batting second is Tucker Zunich. Zunich. Zunich, yeah. my bad. Uh, <laughs> batting er, at right field. Batting third, Dylan Lewis playing left field. Betting fourth, Richard Castro playing second. Betting fifth, Nash Crowell at first base. And uh, betting sixth is William Underwood, and he is the designated hitter. Betting seventh is Luis Mendoza, shortstop. Betting eighth is Lance Dockery at center field. Betting ninth is Dylan Martin at catcher. And the pitcher for tonight is Alex Galvez. And now for... Uh, Brian, we have on the mound, David Walker. All right, and it's currently a 2-1 count to Bernie. The pitch from Walker, big swing and a miss, strike two. Now Walker's a guy, I believe he's usually upper 80s, touch 90s, guy who can blow it by you at this level. He can. You don't want to leave it middle regardless, but. He, I believe, has at least three Three off speeds, I believe. He's got multiple pitches. That one's hit to right field. He's pretty well. So should stay in. And it'll be caught by Rollins at the warning track. Another good play by Rollins. Great job by Rollins. He's got a lot of range. Yes, he does. And if he keeps hitting like he does, he's not coming out. Nope. <laughs> Batting next, we have Tucker Zunich. Great job getting the first out right there. Five pitch out by Walker. And the first pitch to Zunich grounded on the right side. Picked up on a hop by TC. A clean play by him. And there's out number two. Six pitches, two outs. There we go. Great pace right there. Uh, shout out to uh, the first baseman, uh, Colin, right there. That was a great read mm -hmm. on the <laughs> high hopper. You either, for a hopper like that, you either want to get the big hop or the short hop. And he timed it perfectly on that short hop. He did a great do. job reading that. That lip can be brutal yes. over there. If you don't read it right. And first pitch, this is Dylan Lewis. First pitch to him is off the plate for ball one. <coughs> one oh count to Lewis. We had an issue with our scoreboard a minute ago. It seemed to have shut off. Wasn't sure what's going on with that, but they got it working now. And that one's, he yanked that well off the plate. Looked like he just rear back and slung that one. Yeah, he just. Tried to throw hard. Now he's retying his shoe from the look of it. <coughs> Something. I'm not sure exactly what. Two zero count for Lewis from David Walker and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Great pitch. That looks. Like that's either a changeup or a curveball. I can't quite tell. Looks like tell. a changeup. Yeah, it looks like he's slowing it down. Either way, it's vertical movement of some kind, and he's getting guys to swing over top of it. Two one pitch off the plate again. I think he's just missing the fastball. He's just kind of yeah. yanking it, uh, glove side. Well, I mean, if he can dot up that off speed, then he's okay to do that for now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but he does need to dial that fastball in. 3-1 pitch from Walker. This one's popped straight up. That may stay within the field of play. Catcher coming out. Oh, no. A little bit of miscommunication on the field. Kind of a lack of communication. Yeah, Bryson Lofton came charging in. I guess he didn't realize that Bradley Prince was on the ball. And because that landed foul, that will be an error Runner on first base, but Lofton, he I think he realized last second that it was not his, and he tried to peel off, and he ended up tipped, like, catching his shoulder on Bradley Prince and both of them falling over, and Bradley Prince dropped the ball. I will say that pop-up was a hard one to get. It was it, in the air for a while. It was up, and it was moving. Well, it had a, some spin on it. They're having to look directly into the sun because where the sun is right now, it's right above in the same behind the home plate direction. But an error by, 
I think that's technically charged to Brad right. because he touched it, yeah. but we know that was Lofton's fault as to it happening. I will say nobody did call the... <coughs> no one called it. We, like, no one yelled. That was probably the root of the, but the it looked miscommunication. Everyone else in the infield read that it was Bradley going for it, yeah. but somebody, he should have been yelling for it. Um... Yeah, it was just a messy play. I believe that was Lofton's dad who he said he learned to call it <laughs> after the play. His yeah. dad can be brutally direct sometimes. He was <laughs> his high school coach. Well, one one count. This is Richard Castro up to bat his first hit or his first A B of this game. And that was a called strike on the outside half. Great Good pitch. Spot. Great really spot. Great spot for the fastball. Now one two. So it could have been a real quick one, two, three inning. An and error runner on first. It's still been quick, though. It's still quick. He's moving quickly, and that one's fouled back into the net. Still 1-2. Being a very very efficient with each of his pitches. The only <coughs> pitch that has been a little too far off the plate is his fastball so far, which could be a setup pitch. 1-2 pitch in the dirt, ball two. Still not a bad spot. No, it's a good chase spot. I mean, he's ahead in the count. Yep. He doesn't need to throw it over the plate. This is their four-hole hitter. Mm. So, I believe he had one of their home runs last game. Now, they hit quite a few, so that's not saying much. 2-2, two -two, stepped off. Looks back the runner at first. That will be his first step <coughs> off. He only gets one more. Are they actually counting it? Yes. In, in AI? Okay. I wasn't sure. Were they, did I believe. they tell you about it when you were going to pitch? No, um, you see the umpires still do this, meaning that's their first one. You, I believe you only get one, and then the next time you only step off, it's a it's a balk essentially. So, but how many you can pick off unlimited, right? Yes. Okay, that's so, what was confusing me. Yeah. So you can pick off however many times, but um, you, you only can step off once. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Batter gives up on it. Oh, no, Not I think a strike he, he must have fouled tipped it. it. He must have tipped it because I was assuming that was strike three. I believe Bradley was a little frustrated that he didn't catch that one. Yeah, we saw that one time last game, too, where he missed on what would have been strike three. Hey, those are those are hard, though. Even now, hard. That bat that he's swinging, either that's a custom or that looks like a select power from, like, seven years ago. It is, and I believe it is. It looks like a 20... 15 or so select power. It when, does. When they were like the only bat swung in college baseball. Yep. Just a random side note for me. I'm noticing it. Now, 3-2 count after he missed that last one. The payoff pitch from Walker. Hit the center field high in the air. Center fielder going back. I think he'll have room for it. That'll go off the base of the wall on a one hop. And he's going to hit his cutoff. He's going to bobble it. And that'll be an RBI double from Richard Castro. <clears throat> one nothing, top of the inning. Now, that is an unearned run, but it's a yep. run regardless, and runs is what matters at the end of the day. Yep. I think he left that pitch a little bit uh, too in the zone. I think he left it middle, but – and he got to it. I mean, center field, if you're hitting it one hop to the wall, it's going out in the rest of the field. You yep. pull it or push it. Now, this is Nash Kroll. Um, we had a request – from uh, a spectator just now, and there's a called strike on the outside half. Um, the shout out Crowell's grandparents, both sets for watching. His, his dad came down and asked us, they said they traveled all the way over here and they wanted to shout out the grandparents. So that's that's that, and there's a, that one missed, I guess, just a bit low. Looks yep. like the same pitch, but it's gonna be one one now. Yep. Crowell's had uh, a good day so <coughs> far. Great day. I think he hit three home runs yep. last game. A 1-1 one, one count on Crowell. This one's popped up foul pretty far up the hill. Now 1-2. Walker's way ahead. Mm -hmm. but when he's going to try to get him to chase. Off speed off the plate, I would wager. And if he miss, if he doesn't swing at that one, probably a fastball off the plate. Yeah. He's got two chances to not throw strikes and get him to swing. They wanted to offer, but he missed it a bit too far, and that'll move the runner up to third. Prince not able to get to it. Oh. 
feel early in this game, Walker might try to actually attack the zone on this pitch. So early in the game, two outs. I could see it happen. Well, if he's in that changeup he threw earlier, honestly, I'd try to throw a bottom of the yeah. zone. Get him to ground out, swing over top of it. There it is. That may very well mm. have been it, and it just went foul. Thankfully, it did. Bobo couldn't quite get to it. Yeah. Well, that's that's what he's looking for there. Yeah, that was a good pitch, but. Bottom of the zone, got him to ground out. He pulled it, but it was not in the air. Heavy wind picking up. I'm not sure what Walker's waiting on. I think they're just getting the ball, maybe. Yeah. 2-2 Two -two count on Kroll. And the pitch inside just misses. You can tell he's ready to swing. He's gearing up on every pitch. Need a big, big pitch from Walker right here. Yeah. Need him to get something, get him to swing at something. Now he's got to throw it close enough or actually throw a strike. 3-2. The pitch above the mm, zone. Not close enough. Ball. Runner going home. Walker not able to cover in time, and would you say that's a pass ball or a wild pitch? Because he threw it way above the zone, but I think Bradley... I agree with that, but I feel like Bradley's glove was on that. You believe he probably should have caught it, right? I believe so. Then, yeah, that'd be wild pitch. I don't know. I couldn't tell from up here, though. <coughs> it could, could be either way, but anyways, it is... They call it a wild pitch. Wild pitch. Which is... Wild pitch is the pitcher's fault, whereas a passed ball would be an error on the catcher and not an earned run on the pitcher. That's really just semantics at this point. It's a run scored. Run scored. Now we got two runs scored in the first. Two runs scored. One is earned, technically an earned run. The other one is not because of that error that happened earlier. Now 1-0 count. This is William Underwood. And this misses about the zone. Walker getting a little bit wild after he started strong. I believe Reinhardt has scored now in every first inning of the three-game series, haven't they? I believe so. Um, we'll check the stats on that later. but And that's a strike called the outside corner. 2-1 count now for Walker. Um, needs to kind of extinguish this. Ooh. Nice curveball. Oh, wow. Yeah, runner went. Sorry, I had to take a drink real quick. <clears throat> runner kind of snuck past our defenders. Nobody talked. Delayed run. Nobody seemed to have been aware of it. Catcher just made a normal throw back to the pitcher as he's just going to third. Kind of tunnel vision. This one's popped straight up, back. And this is going to land on the road. That ball is scuffed now. Two two count on the William Underwood. The wind is really picking up now. It's starting to blow like bottles around. Uh, that is not sealed. This one's fouled back. Still two two. Slider on the ba batter's back foot. Great spot there by Walker. Two two still. Now Walker says he's at 27 pitches. It usually doesn't count the at-bat you're in, so he's at like at least 31 right now. So now a long first inning, whereas he started very strong. And that'll run the count full after he misses outside. It was six pitches to his first two batters, and I think only two more to get that would-be pop-out. And now we're at probably triple what he should be. Yep. 3-2, full count. Payoff pitch. Grounded up the middle. Jam shot. Dante having to run forward to get to it. Throw to first. Just in time. Fantastic play by Dante and there's right there. Out number three. Two runs scored on one hit, one error. We'll be back in the bottom of the first inning. Alliance a chance to answer with their bats on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
And we are back, bottom of the first inning, leading off for the Lions, Tyler Colon. And the first pitch to him is a swing and a miss. I don't believe we did the Lions lineup. It shouldn't have changed from last game. But if you want to do that real quick. All right. Well, of course, like Buffy said, leading off Tyler Colon playing first base. And then on deck, we have uh, Bryson Lofton playing third base. And then third, we have uh, Darwin Gregg. Uh, as a DH. And then fourth, we have Dante Morton uh, playing shortstop. And then fifth, we have uh, Dryden playing center field. And then sixth, we have Cade Cahoon playing oh, second. I did you dirty. There's the full names. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There's two ways to see the lineup. All right. And one of them gives you the full names, one of them gives you initials. And I knew most names. of their names. Um, Batting six, we have Cade Cahoon uh, playing second base. Then right behind him, batting seven, Cade Cook playing left field. And then in the eighth spot, Bradley Prince at catcher. And then the last spot, number nine hole, Alex Rollins playing right field. And then pitching, as we saw from the last half inning, David Walker. And while that's going on, we just had a – I don't know if that was a swing. I think it was a strike three call on Tyler Cullen for a strikeout to start the game. Tyler Cullen very upset with the end of the at bat. See him stab his bat to the ground right there. Yep. Now up to bat next, we have Bryson Lofton. He hit two home runs last game, and I believe he was four hits, three hits, something like that. He, he only had one out. The whole game. He hit two home runs in the Friday game as well. Yep. He's got four home runs this series. Very he leads impressive. the team. I think he's at 17 now. There's a big swing and a miss. A 1-1 one -one count. Pitcher looks like he's got a little heat behind his ball. Yeah, it looks like he's throwing at least upper 80s. But I will say our line, Lions lineup will be able to handle this That one as long as Lofton does not like that call. That looked like it was may have been off the plate. <laughs> Catcher just overthrew the pitcher. Uh, but that pitch looked like it may have been just off the plate. And he called it a strike, and Lofton not happy with it. So it's a 1-2 count for Lofton. And the pitch. That one's off the plate. That Ball two. Obviously off yeah. the plate. It's higher up as well. This is Alex Galvez on the mound for Reinhardt. Two two pitch coming in. This one misses above the zone. That will run the count full. Good AB by Bryson Lofton right here. It that if Lofton ha was correct would have been ball four just now. Yep. But three two count. That one's ball way four. off the plate. Ball four anyway. So a one-out walk by Lofton, and up to bat designated hitter Darwin Gregg. Gregg got his first hit in the tail end of last game. I believe it was that three-run seventh inning that put us within one. Yep. Let's see if he can keep it going right here. Chance to get a big hit early. Lofton on base. Two-run difference right now. Big cut, way ahead of it. Looked like. like an off-speed out. Yeah, I may have thrown it like a changeup up, something like that. It's gonna be a risky move, but if you're gunning fastball and you see changeup up in the zone, now 0-1 count on Darwin, <coughs> and there's a fastball in the upper half of the zone. That's that's tough. That was the ball. He that was the pitch he was looking for. Yeah, but that changeup or whatever pitch that first pitch was got him so off balanced. Yeah, he saw that, swung at it, realized he missed and was looking for it to come back, and he threw him a fastball. Now it's 0-2. He's in his head. There's, I think that was his off speed again. But he I threw it off fastball. the plate. Did fastball it? up. That's what it looked like. Maybe it's just his weird release. It's making me think it might have been. It's slightly weird. It's very One. jerky movement, yeah. right? Now he's got like a hitch in his movement. A 1-2 count. And he cut and foul tip that back into the net. Good job, Darwin, getting the 
getting something on that pitch. That's up and in. That's hard to get a bat on at all. So. One, two count now for Darwin. And the pitch, runner goes off the plate for ball two. And he got him at second. Surprised by the call right there, really. Wind is really picking up, we apologize. It's the windiest day I think I've seen since I've been here. It's It's been bad these past couple of days. Or rather, this is the windiest day I've been outside for. So one, two count still, now two outs because of them getting Lofton at second base. This one's fouled back into the net, still 2-2. Two, two. Two two count to Darwin. And the pitch fouled back once again. Still two two. I think that's what pitch number seven of this at bat. Good A B right here from Darwin. Really good job staying alive. I believe the scoreboard is wrong. There should be two outs, correct? Yes, there should be. They haven't updated it. They got it right on here on the live stream. The live stats feed. And the two two pitch again. Will be inside and it hits him. So after a hard fought at bat, a hit by pitch, and if Lofton had not gone for the steal, we would have had first and second with, with one, one out. out. Now we have runner on first, two outs, and Dante Morton up to bat the cleanup hitter. Yep. I wonder what approach he goes with right here. Because he has been the one to get on base, but I wonder if he comes out swinging early. First pitch taken for ball one. That's way off. A 1-0 count. That one's well off the plate, too. Ball two. A little timid to throw to Dante. Looks the like. Look of it. 2 0 for Dante Morton. Runner on first, two outs. This oh. one's hit hard to center field. Does it have enough behind it? Center fielder going back. Right on the edge of the warning track. He will make the catch. That was a deep really center hard field. Hit he ball. hit that ball very hard. If he had pulled it, it would have cleared the batting cage. He just got a little under it as well. It was a really high yeah. hit ball too. He hit it up. If he, Yeah, if he pulls it, gets a little bit more of it, that ball's gone. But no runs scored, no hits. Scoreless spot on the first. We'll be back in the top of the second. Lions in the field. Reinhardt up to bat on the Brian Lions Radio Network.
we are back. Top of the second inning. Reinhardt up to bat. Leading off for Reinhardt, Luis Mendoza for his first A-B this game. I believe he was one of more than a few home runs hit last game. A solo shot, mostly what they hit. And there's a first pitch strike from David Walker coming out. He threw 35 pitches last inning. Quite a few, but he probably should have been out in only eight or nine the yep. way he started the inning. Frustrating turn of events, an error on the field, and then just not able to keep in the strike zone. Just like that, he kept throwing those. A 1-1 one, one count after a not close at all pitch. A 1-1 one, one pitch just misses below the zone for ball two. And Phil shifted to the left again. Yeah, really shifted over. They did that a lot last game. We weren't really appreciative of it. No. It seemed to have worked against us many times. There's a called strike two. But it, there was a lot of bloop hits yep. that just went the other way where, where a fielder would have been normally yep. if they hadn't shifted. 2-2 that two -two count. That one's up at his eyes. He's dodging out of the way of that one. And run the count full. Walker needs a battle right here. Bear down and get this out. And the payoff pitch from Walker. Popped up. That'll go back foul over the net. Land on the hill. Just a few feet below us. Count remains 3-2. Another payoff pitch from Walker. Fouled back again in almost the same spot. Just a few feet farther back. Batter's doing a great job battling right here. We get last game starter Clay going to get both those foul balls. 3-2 <laughs> count. And another payoff pitch. This one's hit straight up. This one will stay in the field of play. Shallow infield, actually. Not even outfield. That'll be caught by the first baseman, Tyler Colon, for out number one. You can see the pop-up coming up from right there before that even. He just popped up two yeah, over at us. And the two he hit back, he just barely got a piece of. We got just a little bit more of that one and kept it in the field to play that time. Yep. So I think that was a six-pitch at bat, eight-pitch at bat. Yeah, that was eight pitches because wow. of how many foul balls it was. But it is an out regardless. And only one batter. And the first pitch to Lance Dockery is a fastball off the plate for ball one. I've noticed uh, a shift from Walker's pitching since the error in the first game. Um, looks like he's falling behind in counts more often. Yeah. Although What'd that call like that doesn't help. That looks like it may have caught the corner, but it's not being given to him by the umpire. So 2-0 count for Walker. But, yeah, I feel like... When he first started the game, those first three batters, he was attacking the zone over and over again. Just like that. There's a called strike one, now two one. But he was getting he was in the zone very obviously. He was getting guys to swing at pitches, bad contact, and then after that error, it was like he was afraid to keep it in the zone in case damage would yep. be done. And then two runs scored eventually. Yep. That one misses above the zone. Three one count. I feel like he needs to flush it almost. Just Reset, mm -hmm. start attacking the strike zone again. He's got good stuff. And there is a like that. check swing. He didn't hold back. Strike two. That slider was absolutely filthy. That was a fantastic slider right there. He threw it. He started it outer half the plate, and it dove into the righty batter's box and got Dockery. couldn't stop his swing in time. So the 3-2 pitch, that one's oh, low. Wow. Doesn't get the call. Really close. Good frame by Prince. He sold that one, but... Great spot. No no call. That'll be ball four and a runner on with one out. See, I feel if if he was ahead in that count, though, not behind, more like one, two, 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 we would get that call and then we could make up for it, you know? Or he's more likely to be swinging when there's no ball four option yep. there. Just need to attack the strike zone. Doing a fantastic job with his pitches, though. Now we got a new batter. Now, strike one called. In the zone, we got so a face we haven't seen yet in either game. This is Dylan Martin, <laughs> and 
Now, I don't know what position he's at. I haven't looked yet. I would wager this is the catcher. I believe it's the catcher. I, re I remember reading it off. Yep, this is catcher Dylan Martin batting ninth, and that was a called called strike two. I didn't see it. I looked away. Yes, called strike two. So it like a curveball. Quick 0-2. So he's the only change from last game, though there was a few pinch hits last game. So, And this one's a swing and a miss, strike three. That's a... Breath of fresh air out for Walker, yep. getting that K. Three-pitch strikeout. He's now thrown 49 pitches through one and two-thirds. So some long at-bats, long first inning. Well, like he felt real confident with that batter. Yeah. Just laying it in there and he making knew him it, hit he it. He knew it was the nine hole, and yep. so he was ready to just try to blow it by him, and he did. Now back at the top of the order, Jarrett Burney, that one – just misses for ball one. Just a little bit of a early release on that slider curveball. I couldn't tell, but just just a tad bit early. A one zero count to Bernie. And the pitch caught the inside half ball at first strike one. You could hear the dugout on that one. Everyone saying good. It was a good pitch. Yeah, it's a great spot. Not giving a. Easy one to hit right where it was. A 1-1 one, one count. Now Bernie's kind of hugging the plate, so an inside pitch. If he can hit that spot, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Pick off to first, not in time. Still remains 1-1. One, one. We have two outs. We do have two outs. So play it first or second. Either one, anything on the ground, in the air, you can end the inning. And there's a called strike two in the outer half. This inning has felt quick. Well, that's what the, fir the beginning of the first inning looked like, mm -hmm. moving quickly, and then the air in the field kind of rattled Walker from the look of it. I think he's kind of starting to find a groove again. A 1-2 pitch, check swing, foul tip caught by foul Bradley tip. Prince, and that's a strikeout to end the inning for David Walker. A clean inning by Walker, and we'll be back in the bottom of the second inning. Lions coming up to bat in the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, bottom of the second inning. And the leadoff hit by Dryden is straight to the center fielder. Oh, oh dropped by oh. the center fielder, and there's an error for a leadoff runner, I guess. Not a leadoff single. Yep. Off of his glove. Wow. And a happy turn of events for the Lions. He hit it straight at him. That's happened many times yep. today so far, but that one worked out for us. Maybe we can make something out of this. A rare defensive error by Reinhardt. Yep. They've been really clean today. They're they one. Have. They had one last game, and it was a bad throw oh, to wow. first. Oh, wow. Wow. I haven't seen that before. Center fielder made an error, and they immediately switched him out. Wow. I don't know if that's a team policy or something along those lines, but 
I haven't seen that live. That's wild. That's wild. I've never seen that. So we'll see who that is in a second. So new center fielder for Reinhardt. After an error by the previous guy, that was Lance Dockery, who played last game, and now Jameer Rookard, J Jamel Rookard, now in for center field yep. for Reinhardt. So an error now early for Reinhardt. Up to bat, Cade Cahoon, the first of the two Cades in the order. And that one misses just above the plate, ball one, a 1-1 one -one count. And if y'all go outside today, make sure y'all put on y'all sunscreen. Um, yeah, we're not used to having sunshine in this booth. Runner goes, bounces off the catcher, ball in the dirt. He did a good job keeping it in front of him, but it bounced too far. And Dryden got a good jump at first, and there was no play. Yeah. But, yeah, we're not used to having sunshine in nope. the booth up here at Bryan. It's usually cold. It's very windy today, but the sun's been out, no clouds. And, uh, yeah, we got a little bit burned, we being me. Yep, one of our main broadcasters, Avery Buffington. Got a little got a little sunburnt. A little red. So 2-1 count on Cade Cahoon, and there's 3-1, ball way above the zone. At least my ears aren't burned. We're wearing headsets, yep. so there's none of that. I got a little lucky today because I wore a hoodie. Yeah. I normally would wear a hoodie, and for once I didn't. And I was actually cold earlier when it was windy. 3-1 count for Cade Cahoon from Alex Galvez. Galvez. And the pitch mm. popped straight up. That would have been ball four. If it looks like I it's out. Yeah, it is out of play. That lands just next to the stands. The woman who landed nearest didn't even notice till it landed. So that will run the count full on that foul ball. Yep. No outs. This this could be a good a good inning to score runs for the Lions right here. If they could capitalize. Three two, runner in scoring position, no outs. I could see it being a hit and run called. Payoff pitch. I don't know how you leave that one after fouling off one way inside. Yeah. To be honest, that was a pretty clear strike three. I will say this pitcher is throwing hard. Yeah. And sometimes if you're not ready for it, it'll go him. right by you. <laughs> yeah. He froze him on that. So that'll be a backwards K for Kate Cahoon. Kate Cook now up to bat for the Lions. One out, runner on second. Runner still in scoring position. Two run ball game. Tying run is at the plate. First pitch to Cade Cook. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Hard swing. He was ahead of that one. I think he was ahead of a fastball because he was so ready for it. He is ready. Be careful, though, because I think we've seen this pitcher have decent off speed. Yep. I doubt he'll go back to that fastball after that swing. He did. Rounder on the left side. That's in reach of the third baseman. Throw over to first. What a play. Just in time. That was pretty impressive. Great play by the third baseman right there to get in that hole. Now that wasn't for it, it wasn't for nothing. He did move the runner from second to third, so runner ninety uh, the one run ninety feet away. It wouldn't be the tying run, but we'd be only down one at that point. So anything out of the infield or even just an infield single should score a run, especially with Dryden being one of the faster guys on the team. Up to bat next, we have the catcher Bradley Prince, the eight hole hitter. And the first pitch to him is fouled back to the net. He's going in swinging. Just a little late on that one. Just a little bit. He like he saw it much. pretty well, though. He didn't miss it by much. It was inside. He fouled it the other way. Oh, one count on Bradley Prince. And the pitch in the dirt. Ball one, Bradley Prince. Do what? Go ahead. My bad. Well, Bradley Prince signaling to Dryden at third to stay put. That ball was not moving very far. What were you gonna say? I was gonna give props to that catcher right there. That's a good block right there. He he did a good job keeping it in front of him. A one one count. This one's off the plate. Dryden taking an aggressive lead with no one holding him on.
Trent's all the way in the coach's box over there. Yes, he is. He went really far into foul territory. 2-1 count on Bradley Prince. This one's in the dirt. Another good block by the catcher. Dryden is ready to go home if he misses that ball. Yep. See him drifting over to the coach's box over at the third base side. And then once the pitch goes, he's the, almost a third of the way down the line. Yep. Now, uh, I would think that Brad right here, Bradley Prince, is going to hit one if it's in the zone. And he spiked that. It's That's not. ball four. I'm excited about this, A.B. Yeah. Rollins' last at bat was his second career home run. He hit his first career home run, home run last week. Yep. Never been a big power guy, but he has been hammering the ball recently. Maybe it's the new bat. He's been getting on base too, though. He's like been, he's been getting hard hits singles. Too. Yeah, he's not he's not just hit his first couple home runs. He's been hitting the ball very consistently in the last couple weeks, and he's earned a spot in the lineup after that first home run. Let's see if he can have a little clutch right here. Yeah, runners on first and third, two outs. This one's inside, oh. nearly hits him. Runner going home on the play. Alex getting out of the way. Throw goes to nobody, and. Who was on first base? We got a runner. Oh, Stradley is Stradley. at second. I forgot. Bradley Prince walked. Logan Stradley courtesy runs for him. And he is now on second base after that. Was that a wild pitch? Yeah. It yes. Be. It wasn't It wasn't something the catcher was expecting. It went to behind get. Rollins, actually. That's right. Yeah. Very wild pitch. Which hey, coach going out there to talk to him. This pitcher has at He's been a little bit wild. Time's been wild today already. He's um, thrown some really good strikes, and then he'll miss very badly on some yeah. of his balls. So that's the first mound meeting this inning, trying to calm down his starting pitcher. A 1-0 count to Rollins, a 1-2 ball game. Tying run is at second base. Go ahead, run is at the plate. See if Rollins can do something for the lines right here. He's looking to hit the ball here. 1-0 count. And the pitch. There's a called strike. Look at a curveball. Something. Started top of the zone and cut down. Not what Rollins is looking for. Especially not 1 0. No, 1 0. He's looking fastball in the zone. Yeah. 1 1 now. He's still not looking off speed right now, I'd imagine. He's been hitting fastballs really well. And there's a fastball. Popped up to the right side. Right fielder drifting over. And he'll make the catch in shallow right field. But we have scored a run on one error. And. A couple wild pitches, one hit. No, no hits by the Lions, though, but it's a two to one game. We'll be back in the top of the third. Reinhardt up to bat on the R Brian Lions radio network. And we are back, top of the third inning. Leading off for Reinhardt, Tucker Zunich. Back on the mound, David Walker. That one just misses the zone for ball one. There is a 
white-tailed deer that was just running down the hill from the school. That is a sight to see. Yeah, I've s we've seen them once or twice on the hill. I have not actually. Well, the w I've seen them from the pin. They'll appear at the top of the hill. I haven't seen one get that close to the field before. Yeah. And it was just running around. It was a doe. It's gone now. And of course the wind picks up since we start talking. A 1-0 pitch called strike one. Oh, like a slider right there. Yeah, backdoor slider. Just getting a piece of the plate. Zunich wanted to offer. He held back. But it was in the zone. Infield shifted to the right. Yep. Looking for that pull hit. This one's in the dirt for ball two. Two one count for Walker. Misses off the plate. Ball three. Here's Walker falling behind the count. He needs to stay in the zone. I don't think these Reinhardt hitters can actually hit him. There's ball four. Lead off walk on Zunich. I believe this is the two hole hitter, right? Now now Dylan Lewis, the three hole hitter, left fielder coming out. He had a bomb last game. Yeah, he's one of them. Infield shifted again to the left side. Yeah, they're just living on the shift right now for Reinhardt. Our first pitch called strike on the outside half on Lewis. Speaking of bombs, the bombs last game by the Brian. Two of them you very much expected. Bryson Lofton going deep twice, but then home run number three, Alex Rollins. That's yep. a sight to see. It is. And that will miss off the plate for ball one. He's staying on the outside half against Lewis. I imagine they don't want to give him anything too middle. Pick off to first. No tag. Keeping him close. We got a very big crowd here at uh, center field here at Bryan College. Probably the biggest we've had all season. Right? I, I would wager it was the best best weather we've had, to be fair, that all too. season. But, I, yeah, I believe this is the largest crowd we've seen. You know, probably the in most interesting thing is uh, I saw some Walmart lawn chairs being used here today. Have you seen that before? I don't think I have. Very interesting. Very smart idea, too, though. Very cheap. That one's in the dirt for ball two. 2-2 two, two count on Lewis. We're approaching the 50-minute mark of this game. Wow. And just, this is the top of the third, so we have two complete innings. This one's fouled back over the net. Pretty close to us. That'll roll on the road. You want that? No, we'll let someone else get that. Just rolling down the road. Still 2-2 two, two on Lewis. And the pitch, ground on the left side. Missed by both the shortstop and second baseman. I think Dante <laughs> gave up on it when Cade Cahoon got to it. Throw to second base. Oh, what a play. In time to get him at second. Oh, and no. I, I believe he spiked Dante on the hand. We have a timeout now. I don't believe a trainer is going out there yet. Yeah, we got head coach Clint McCauley. There's the trainer. He's going to the fence. Anytime you see something like that, the trainer, I believe, has to go out there. Yep. You know, the trainer is going out there. Shout out to Levi. He's been awesome. The whole team now is around Dante. Like he's good. The trainer makes it halfway there before heading back. Mm. You know, again, Buff, I think the shift was not helpful right there. I think that's the normal spot Dante would have been in, yep. and they probably would have rolled a double play. Yep, because you saw Kate Cahoon 
going over for the ball as well. Nobody was covering second base no, right there. Yeah, no one covered second. So and the only play was at first. Dante was definitely at the ball, but I think Cade being in front of him kept him from having a chance at yep. it. He, he kind of gave up on it thinking Cade would have it, and then Cade missed it. So one out, runner on third, hard hit ball on the left side. Will he be in range? Dropped by the left fielder, Cade Cook, just barely. And an awkward throw. I think Cade may be hurt. Slow to get up. Maybe he's okay. He's walking I think it he's off. okay. Maybe it was, it was an awkward landing on yep. that, and then he missed it and kind of slipped while trying to get up. So that will score a run. Now three to one, Reinhardt. He barely. He it went off of his glove, and I think it was an awkward landing may have caused him to drop it. I believe so too. So that would be a an error. One out, runner on first. This is Nash Kroll back up to bat. I think he walked his last A B. Swing and a miss, strike one. Great pitch right there. Yeah. What was that slider off the plate? Yes. It looked like it actually started right down the middle and went about two to three balls off the plate. That's how much movement he has. He's got a good sweeper. Oh one pitch. Grounder on the left side. Straight to Lofton. Throw to second in time. Throw to first. Oh. Very close, I would argue. He was out, but umpire calls him safe on the field. Two outs, does not get the double play. Great play, though, by Lofton right there. It's an awkward angle. He had to charge it, yeah. but also throw it to second. So, like, a little bit of an off angle or off position throw right there. Yeah, we don't have any kind of angle to see that on the camera regardless. Up to bat next, William Underwood. He's 0 for 1, and there's a called strike 1. O one one count, runner on first, two outs. Now, he's done a good job getting a couple ground balls in a row. One of them should have been an out, but was missed. He also... That where was that? I don't know. Probably, I, yeah. I would assume high. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really good looking pitch from Walker, not called. He hasn't had hard contact in a few batters now. No. Um, that hasn't been the issue. The the hit to left field wasn't hard as uh, either. He might have gotten a decent piece, but he hit low. There's not been anything it sounded high like in off the, the end of the bat yeah, too. Yeah, it might have been. It it yeah, it was shallow left field, probably 200 feet total distance. And this one will miss above and out. Now three one. Seems like he's been three one. A lot. A few times. Yeah, he's had a few of these counts. Needs to find a way. Get ahead. 3-1 to William Underwood. And the pitch. Runner goes. Misses inside. Ball four. I'm not sure the batter was aware it was ball four. I don't either. Walker taking a second to reset. Now, a veteran... Pitcher out there, fifth year senior. He's been here for a while. Yep. Won't be. It's not the first time he's been. He's been in a scenario like this under pressure. Won't be the last time if he continues playing baseball. Two outs. Runner on first and second. Only needs one bad contact. A good slider misses off the plate. Maybe not the best OO pitch, but a really good chase pitch. Yep. But he knows they're being aggressive, so. 1-0 count. This is Luis Mendoza at the plate. Popped straight up. That's uh, coming back. That's out. You yep, see the the that's wind out. caught that. You can't see it on the camera. But that was coming straight back towards us, and it just tailed suddenly to the left. Yep. And dropped, actually. Wind is picking up now. Going towards, I believe, center field. And you can see the American flag at the scoreboard is now straight out. So the wind is blowing out towards the right side, right center field-ish side. Where does that miss? Just, I guess, off Looked the plate. Looked a little off the plate, yeah. Yeah, now 2-1 on Mendoza. Need a strike right here. Yes. He needs to find the zone. He needs to get something low in the zone that they can ground out. I believe he's okay to throw a fastball right here. Check swing. He, he got went. him fishing on that one. Yeah, he got a he got a bad swing right there. Two two count now on Mendoza. The 
A 2-2 pitch from Walker. Above the zone, ball three. Not a bad spot, but in a 2-2 two -two count. A little too little too far above the zone yep. on that one. Trying to give him the chase. I think he may have gotten a little distracted keeping tabs on the runner at second. Full count, payoff pitch, swing and a Ooh. miss. Caught by Bradley Prince, strike three, and that will end the inning. One run scored on one hit and an error. And we'll be back in the bottom of the third. Lions up to bat in the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, bottom of the third inning. Leading off for the Lions, Tyler Cullen, the leadoff batter. We're back at the top of the order. First pitch to him is a called strike on the outside half, some kind of off speed. I would wager that's a curveball. Probably. It's hard to tell. It's all arbitrary at this point. Yep. A lot of time. But you just base it on the shape. But. And the, and the better swing sometimes can tell. 1-1 one, one count on Colin. That one's in the dirt. Picked by the catcher. He tried to frame it. Did uh, Colin strike out the first AB he had? He did. Called strikeout. He Called was not happy out. about it. I'm sure he is he's looking to hit, to hit this AB. Yeah, so. He's ready to get one. 2-1 two, one count on Colin and the pitch above the zone ball three. Yep. Hitters count right here. It's looking dialed in. Imagine if the hitter had four strikes instead of three. Wow. Be a very different game. That would be a very different game. Be very hard for a pitcher. Yep. I'm three really one count to Colin in the dirt ball. Wow. Four. Great. <laughs> Good job by Colin. Great job leading off, getting on base. Lead off hitter. On base for none other than Bryson Lofton. Lofton 0 for 0. He walked, I believe, in his first at bat. I like this AB. It's a really big spot right here. We're down by two. Tying run at the plate in Lofton. Lofton's already hit two home runs today. He's got four on the series. And it looked like he just missed hitting one right there. Yep. This is, I believe, what Bryson Lofton can hit. It's that fast righty. Um, he, he walked his first AB and now this is his second time looking at this pitcher. Yeah, he's seen him twice. He didn't get fooled the first time. 0-1 pitch to Lofton is in the dirt. 
Good block by the catcher. Catcher's been very solid about blocking catcher a lot has. of stuff. Yep. You can tell he's been practicing and trained ve very well. I'm sure he works with his pitcher a lot, so he's used to how he misses as well. Yep. A 1-1 one, one count on Lofton. And the dirt ball, too. Again, another good block. Yeah, really good job keeping it in front of him. TC, you can see him hopping over there, wishing that it had gotten by. Mm -hmm. He's ready to go to second. 2-1 count on Bryson Lofton. Time by the head coach. He's calling to the bullpen. Wow. Midway through the at-bat to Bryson Lofton. There's a deer. The deer just ran past the field. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Lofton saw it. He was looking up at us and pointing, and the deer just ran up the hill in front of our booth. I've never seen them get th that close in this field. It was right in front of the camera, right to the side. I'm not sure it picked it up. That would be amazing if it did. I don't. Yeah, it's too, <laughs> it's too far it's up. It's too far up. But back to things we don't normally see. Pitcher got replaced midway through the at-bat to Bryson Lofton. Because they, I guess they really don't want to walk him, but they also do not want to give up a home run again. Yep. So... Just two innings in, Alex Galvez will be pulled. Two strikeouts, three walks, 44 total pitches. Now, I've seen this a lot happen to Bryson Lofton this year. Every team. After last year, they've learned to be afraid. They they know who the All-American is on our team, and yep. they prepare for him. And I assume this is a righty. Most of the time, these uh, teams will bring in a lefty for them mm -hmm. just You've to give them that offset. We've seen more than once. Yep. I'm trying to remember, was it Cumberland Point? One of the teams we played did very specifically targeted him with pitching. Yep. They're, they had the same guy, lefty, come in to face him, just him, and then come out right after it. He faced, he faced one batter, Bryson Lofton, twice in a tight scenario. And the first time it worked out for them, the second time it did not, if I remember correctly. But Which I, I would agree with the outcome there. Bryson Lofton, if he sees a, a decent pitcher twice, he's going to hit him the second time. More than likely, yeah. If, he, if you give him a pitch, he can hit. And I would wager, yeah, it looks like this pitcher, it's a righty-lefty matchup. He looks like he's got a lot of two-seam run, I was about which to say helps that. against a lefty. He might even be a sinker. He might even throw a sinker from up top. Some guys naturally do that. And then it looks, that looks like a slider. This is very purposeful across. for Bryson. Yeah. Right uh, this could be a guy with a reverse split versus lefties. Nope. That's going to change up. We'll be back in just a second before the at-bat starts on the Brian Lines Radio Network. a real quick break from us and we're back still a 2-1 count on Bryson Lofton this is Ryan Mahoney coming in for Reinhardt that one's off the plate ball three TC goes to second base no throw and there's a stolen base for Tyler Colon great read by him right there that's been the second good read today uh, mm -hmm. the first one being by Stradley in the first game um, it's definitely a skill Stealing bases in baseball. Yeah. And we've been able to do it. 3-1 now on Bryson Lofton. Runner in scoring position. And the pitch. That will miss below the zone. Ball four. And now no outs. Runner on first and second. You know, it could well be that the new pitcher coming in wasn't for Lofton. It could. Because both of the hitters behind him are righties. And Darwin, in particular, is aggressive at the plate. And on a righty-righty matchup, is more likely to get a K than yeah. Lofton is. I'm actually surprised they took out that picture, pitcher so quick right there. Yeah, I think his pitch count was 44, which is low for a starter. But he was up there for two innings of work. I assume he might be a, an opener type, Maybe. like a reliever that just opened the game. It was surprising he pulled a mid at bat, though. Yeah. You don't generally see that. First pitch 
was a slider, big swing, and a miss from Darwin Gregg. And this one misses low for ball one. It looks like a changeup. Yeah. Looked like he went slider changeup, yep. no fastball yet. This this pitcher looks to be a uh, off speed type pitcher. Yeah. They might have some decent off speeds. A 1 1 count for Darwin Gregg, designated hitter for the Lions. And a swing and a miss. That looked like another changeup. Yep. I can't quite tell. It's hard to read velo from up here. Either it's his fastball and it's running a lot, or it's a changeup. Now, is there a rule for sunglasses on the mound? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Because that's what um, I know I grew up with, that you can't have sunglasses on the mound. Right, pick back to second, off the glove of the shortstop. No tag. Still a 1-2 count. They could be. I wonder if, if it's prescription glasses you can make a – yeah. Like you could push for it. I'm I not sure. So. I know every other position is not really an issue. I mean, catcher, you wouldn't wear it because of the mask. Yeah. One, two count. And a called strike three on a slider. Darwin not happy about that one. It looked like it caught the, I, the edge of the plate right there. I would give that one to the umpire. It was close enough. You can't really argue it. But Darwin not happy with it. One out now, still runners on first and second, and Dante Morton up to plate. He's been hitting really well this yep. series. He's been doing well, really. Yeah, he's just been good all around. Making plays at short, getting on base, doing the little things. He's been on, yeah, he's on base. I think he's only gotten out one time yep. today out of, like, seven chances. Yep. He's, oh, he's 0 for 1. His last at bat, but he hit the ball hard. First pitch to Dante. Hard oh. hit ball to the left side. Oh, my gosh. That is in the pond. Watch out, left fielder. You're in the splash zone. Wow. That ball jumped off the bat. There was no question about that. And that home run puts us in the lead. Four to three. Lions. And you can hear the dugout from here. That was huge. I think he was looking slider. He might have. I think he saw that slider being thrown to Darwin and was looking for it. He threw that inside trying to freeze him. He just turned on that ball. They could have a scouting report on this pitcher. We have seen him before. I remember this name from last year, Mahoney. Because he but looks like an off-speed pitcher. And that one. That one looks like a changeup. It, it looks. I don't know if it's his fastball. It looks like a changeup. It could be a sinker. It could be a sinker. But it it looks so much slower than a fa I think he threw harder than that in his warm-ups, to be honest. That one's in for a called strike. Yeah. That, either he throw he's throwing change-ups for strikes, yeah. or his fastball just looks like one naturally. Yeah. It's interesting to see. Anyway, that ball was hit. And I, I think Dante was looking slider there with how hard he hit the ball. Yeah. There's a swing and a miss for Dryden, the center fielder. One-two count. And if you know how our pond is set up in left field, that ball actually hit the back left <laughs> of the pond. I think he actually hit the, the the grass back there before it actually went into the pond. It, yeah, it went. I think it went over that edge of the pond. Yeah, that's that's how hard that ball was hit. And there was no doubt about that one off the bat. A foul tip by Dryden. Still a one-two count. One out. Nobody on. Mm. And there's a slider called for strike three at the top of the zone. I would have to disagree with that call. I, that, I feel like it, it looked high. Um, it's okay. There's not much you can do about that. I'm surprised he didn't swing, to be honest. Yep. After seeing what Dante just did to that same pitch, maybe a little lower, but same spot. Yep. Up to bat next, Cade Cahoon, the second baseman. The first pitch in for a strike on the outside half. It might be his fastball. He's throwing it a lot. Yep. We haven't seen it's all looked the same. I haven't seen what looked like a fastball. Okay, that looked like a fastball. There's a hard hit to center field. Center fielder drifting over and he'll catch it right in the middle. Fantastic. For out number inning. three. A great inning regardless by the Lions. Four runs on one hit. We've only hit one hit. So it was a couple of walks. No, three runs. Three well, three runs this inning. That's right. In the first uh the second inning also Scored on an it was an error, but yeah, three runs scored this inning. 
on one hit, two walks, and a home run by Dante Morton. He's got power. That's why he hits in the cleanup spot. As we were saying earlier, he's got power. He can also feel have, – he has a feel for the zone. Yeah, he's, he's got fast. a really good zone. Great spot, bottom of the third. We'll be back in the top of the fourth, four to three in the favor of the Lions. Ryan, the Reinhardt now up to bat on the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, top of the fourth inning. Reinhardt up to bat. Leading off for Reinhardt, we have Jamel Rookard. I believe he is the one who came in in center field in that middle of the inning switch after the error made. Let me double check that. Walker. That's right. This is the new center fielder. Go ahead. Walker just threw a ball pretty far outside to this lefty. Ball one. Yeah, one oh count on Rookard. This one misses off the plate as well. That I think it's, that's his fastball. It's got a lot of two-seam runs. It had a lot of run on that one at least, yep. It's running arm side pretty strongly, which is good against a lefty. And he may actually just sit fastball outside half if, he, if it runs enough. And there's that fastball inside, 2-1. Great, Great spot. Kind of making him jump back off the plate a little bit. Two-one count. And the pitch wanted to offer, he held back, but it's a called strike two. Close ball game now. We need Walker to step it up a little bit on the mound. He's been doing great so far. Just getting a oh. little bit behind on the counts and some calls not going his way. Yeah, he's not getting all the favorable calls. That one, speaking of which, looked like it may have caught a corner, but he called it a ball just off the plate. That will run the count full, three to two. This one's popped up, that'll go out of play. Remains three, two. Almost hit one of our, what looks like <laughs> 50 fans on the side of the sidewalk over here. It was heading up towards them. So the count remains three, two, and I believe this will be Walker's last inning of work, more than likely. He's already at 81 pitches before this at bat. That one's grounded hard on the right side. It's going to be picked up by the second baseman. Toss the first base, and that'll be out number one. Six pitch out. Seven pitch out. Not bad. That one foul ball. Not bad. It works. No one on. The leadoff runner got out. So up next, Dylan Martin. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout this game. Now Walker, now it, that's 88 pitches after that at bat. After three and a third. I would wager this his last inning of work. And a swing and a miss, strike one. Fastball on the outside half, tailed away. What you looking for? I'm looking for the pitch count. There we go, 88 pitches. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it right here as well. It's on the live stream. There we go. That's where I keep glancing at. Yep. He's at 88 pitches. That's a good bit for only the top of the fourth, correct? Yeah, three and a third. Um, and I will say that pitch count only updates, I believe, after it outs are made, yep. so it can be a batter or two behind. It usually doesn't keep live batter totals. And a one-handed catch by, uh, who is that in the dugout? Number 13, I can't tell. Foul ball. Number over 13, I believe that looks like Cam. Cam Mullins, maybe? Yep. Yeah, he made a one-handed catch on that grounder. One-two count, big swing and a miss for strike three for the second out of the inning. And David Walker is feeling it right now. Yep. I mean, honestly, if you look at his stats right now, he's done a fantastic job. 
Yeah, one um, earned run. Three only total. One. And then two hits. That's yeah. not a lot at no. all. The th the two other runs, and also the one earned run, actually is all because of the errors made in the field. That earned run came after the inning extended in the first inning when, yeah. when errors were made. And then I believe the it run in the third was from that error in left field. Yep. That misses off the plate for ball two. This is Jarrett Burney, the one hole hitter for Reinhardt. We're top the order already. This will be his third at bat. He's over two with a strikeout this game against Walker. And the 2 0 pitch above the zone, ball three. So far, Walker's done a good job getting him out twice. Now, it looks like right here, uh, what we have is Reinhardt's one for five with two outs so far. Um, this is their leadoff batter, so. And that one misses below the zone. There we go. For ball four. Well, will that even change that number? No. It's I just a walk. Yeah, because it's so a walk. I believe that only counts hits. Mm-hmm. They're one for four in the leadoff spot, too. They really haven't hit this game. It's they been, haven't. It's really been errors. I feel Walker has done a great job with this team. This, like, this Reinhardt squad can hit. Yeah. They're, and they did last game. They're ranked high in NAI for a reason. Their home run category is up there. Yep. However, we have dealt it with it at least for two games so far, the first game in the series and this game. Um, that was a big swing and a miss by Tucker Zunich. I would assume Walker will be out of – or This is probably it for him, yep. this inning. I'm sure they'll let him finish the inning at this rate. Yep. Done a really good job. And there's a painted strike on the outside half. It honestly looks like he's starting to settle in yeah. right now. But his pitch count's very it's, high. It's I, high. They might let him start one more, but he's in the 90s already at pitch count. Yep. 0 2 count on Zunich. And a pickoff to first base. Not quite in time. Not getting giving Bernie any chance to run to second. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two strikeouts this inning for Walker. And a zero on the board. And Remains. a flick of the hat by Walker right there <laughs> after that big strikeout. Great job by Walker coming through. That's probably going to be it for him with him being, I think that'll put him at 100 pitches or 99. Yep. So, but a great job by Walker. Yep. Lions take the lead. Walker shuts out the top of the fourth. We'll be back in the bottom of the fourth. A chance to extend that lead by the Lions on the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, bottom of the fourth inning, leading off for the Lions, left fielder Cade Cook. And the first pitch nearly hits him. Let's see if Cade Cook can get some start right here. The Lions have so far been two and two for three in the leadoff spot every inning, which is a 6-6-7 average. I mean, that's, 
That's fantastic for really the leadoff good. spot. That's what you want. I do see in the Brian bullpen a ball being thrown. I just noticed that. This is Mahoney back in for second and a hard hit ball on the left side. Oh. Missed by the third baseman. I wonder if we'll see him get replaced. And Cook is going to second on that. Yep. Now, I wonder if that's going to be ruled an error because he seemed to have missed. Yep, ruled an error, so that's a two-base error. Yep. By the third baseman was playing far back on that as well. Yeah. He just missed the hop, I think. Yeah. Uh, but that is Bernie, who was just on base. I wonder if they'll replace him. I believe he's a, he's either a junior or a senior. He was with them last year and was one of their core guys as well. Good hustle by Kay Cook right there to get two yep. on that, though. Now he's really in scoring possession. So that's back-to-back -back leadoff errors to get runners on. Yep. I believe they counted that as a hit on here. I saw on the scoreboard it ticked up as an error. They might It might take a second. Kind go of. as an error. Yeah. If you see, oh, and a bunt just goes foul. Yeah, if you look at the play-by-play, -play, it tells you how they score it. Yeah. So reach first on an error. And we <laughs> just scroll back and forth. I've got stats on the tablet right next to me, so we're looking at them. So 0 1 count on Bradley Prince after he tries to bunt one and it just goes foul. Trying to move the runner over to third base. Got Mahoney back on the mound. He's got two earned runs to his name. That was Lofton, who he finished the at bat to walk him, and then the home run he gave up out of the three given up last inning. And he shows bunt again, pulls back. That'll be a ball. Good one take. one count. Very good take. I think he threw a slider. So it cut in on him. Righty lefty matchup. Bradley Pen Prince showing bun again. So one one pitch. Pulls back, ball in the dirt. Being two, very one. smart. Very smart right here. I think the catcher's kind of folding under the pressure when he sees that bunt. He's just not throwing in the zone. Yeah. I mean, eight-hole hitter Bradley Prince, he's 0 for 0 this game. I believe he walked his last at bat. So I bunt again? You don't want to walk him here. I think you just let him bunt. And there's oh, wow. a perfect bunt down the line. That might be a hit. Wow. Yes. That is a bunt single by the catcher, Bradley Prince. Wow. What a fantastic Bradley piece of hitting. And Bradley Prince is not of the flightest no. feet. You got a catcher running to first on a bunt, and he beat it out. That is a perfect bunt right there. That might be the best live bunt I've seen. Wow. And now the Reinhardt coach is walking over to the first base umpire. He might be asking for help on that call. It was close. It I'll was very that. close. It looked like he beat him. Even if he is out, we have a runner at third with one out. Yeah. But there, there was no chance of Cade not going to third at that play. Yeah. That was such a well-placed bunt. Very well-placed. Who knew that Bradley Prince could bump like that? I guess they did. He yep. did. Our leadoff is now batting 750 after Cade got on base. Actually, I guess it's not batting. It's just on base percentage. Yeah. And we're two for seven runners on. That is because of Prince getting that bunt just now. And so now we have Rollins up to the bat. Yeah, Rollins has been hot today, too. He's 0 for 1 this game, but he had a hard hit, I believe, in his last at bat. Runner taking aggressive lead at first. That is Logan Stradley, the courtesy runner, freshman, center fielder backup coming in for Bradley Prince. And that kid's talented. Oh, like he's Stradley is talented kid. He's a natural athlete. 0 1 count on Alex Rollins. And the pitch. Ooh. Inside pitch. He looked to turn on it like Dante did, but he just missed. He almost got a hold of that one. He, he was, had perfect timing. He was looking for that slider. I think he's hunting slider on this one. 0-2. Oh, he's going to have to protect the plate here. Yep. Just put it in play. Runner on third. If he puts it on the ground, there's a solid chance they score a run. Yep. And the 0-2 oh, pitch to Rollins. Misses off the plate. That was a very close pitch to take. Great take. Great frame by the catcher, but that yep. was a, a ball or two off. It was close. Um, we saw Rollins nodding after that call was made. One, two, count on Rollins. Rollins better be ready for this pitch. And the pitch popped up, foul to the right side. Very good job protecting. That'll hit a tree and land in the grass. Great job battling right there. He has been in on an absolute tear at the plate, I would say. 
He's done a fantastic job just making good at bats, making hard contact. Yep. He hasn't wasted it. I don't think he's struck out or maybe has one strikeout in like the last 10 of my I believe he would have a good bit of quality ABs. He hasn't wasted any. This one's well off the plate. Ball two. Great take again. Yeah. Holding up the runner at third. Two two count on Rollins. So far in this game, we're two for six with runners in scoring position. Let's see if Rollins can increase that. Runner goes, ball in the dirt. Oh. Gets in front of the catcher, so awesome. A free base for Stradley. Cade Cook having to hold up at third. And a full count for Rollins. Yep. I am noticing. So Bradley Prince bunted. There's no such sign from Rollins. Nope. They're letting him swing. They are. And after the way he's been hitting recently, I would too. Yep. No outs too. No outs. Give Top the chance. order behind him. And the pitch. Off Great the plate. Take. Ball four. A fantastic get bat by Rollins. And that will load the bases for the top of the Bryan order, and I can't imagine this pitcher stays in the game too much longer. He was down 0-2 in that A-B. He was down 0-2. He fouled off one close pitch. And, and then he had three great takes. Three good takes. And that he will is. lead top of the order, Tyler Colon. He's over one with a strikeout and a walk. Fun around third time, and there is the head coach pointing to the bullpen. This is it for Ryan Mahoney. Ryan Mahoney, one complete inning. That was last inning. He's not gotten out yet, this one. He's he's struggled with this lining Lions lineup. The bottom of the the bottom half of the Brian's lineup to this outing or this this today both games and even yesterday has been fantastic yep. hitting. Especially and Rollins being one of the stars of that. That's that's amazing that this lineup can do that. Yeah. That you you can't forget about the hitters even if, as you get to what should be the easier part. Yep. And the nine hole hitter being one of the most productive players this week is yep. fantastic. So new pitcher on the mound. We'll see who it is in just a second. We'll take a quick break and be right back when he's ready to go on the Lions Radio Network. We are back still the bottom of the fourth inning. Bases loaded, no outs. New pitcher on the mound for Reinhardt. And a hard hit ball to right center field. Oh, my Tyler gosh. Cullen, that Tyler is a Cullen great grand, grand slam. slam. New pitcher comes in, and the first pitch goes deep over the scoreboard. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even have time to see it. That's the second the grand bat. slam I've seen hit live by Brian. And they've hit more than that. I just haven't seen them all. And the dugout is fired up. 
TC was ready for that. And we were just talking about how that pitcher had, looked like he had some good stuff. He had good movement on his pitches. But all it takes hard. is one pitch. One pitch in the zone that TC likes, and it's gone. I don't think I'll be able to sit down for a minute. <laughs> that was Too excited. Wild. And Bryson lofted up to bat, hit it straight down, grounder, filled by the first baseman, not the first baseman, the pitcher, and he ran all the way over. You can tell his adrenaline's going after that. Wow. So eight to three Lions after a grand slam by Tyler Cullen. And I don't think we mentioned the pitcher's name. Uh, I believe. Eli Klotfelter, I believe yep. it was. Eli Klotfelter. Up to bat next, Darwin Gregg, designated hitter for the Lions. Let's see, he is over one with a strikeout and a walk. And there's a mm. check swing that he could not check for strike one. And the 0 1 pitch. Catcher tried to frame it. It was in the dirt. Ball one. A 1 1 count. TC knew it was gone off the bat, too. He bat Everyone flipped. knew. Yeah, I wasn't sure because I'm like, is that going to drop? And then I see him bat flip. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> he killed that ball. That ball was smashed. Oh, yeah. One, two count on Darwin Gregg. He's probably looking for his first home run. Not just hit, home run. Good Check take. swing. He did take that one. Good job there. Two, two. Was that fastball top of the zone? Looked like. I heard loud pop. Uh, it looked I didn't like see the top pitch. of the zone, yep. And fun little stat for y'all. There's an another check by Darwin, a good take. Not run the count full. Go ahead. Fun little stat for y'all. Uh that was the first time we've had bases loaded this game. And so TC's home run made us one for one with bases loaded. That was a hard hit ball on the left side. That was squeak past the shortstop for a one out single by Darwin Gregg for his first hit this game. Great hit by Darwin right there. Good job. Good at bat. Yep. A lot of really close takes, and yep. he wasn't swinging. Yep. Up to bat next, cleanup hitter, Dante Morton. He's already hit one home run this game. He's got a runner on first, one out. He started off the scoring for the Lions, scored their second or their third and fourth run, I believe it was, when he, that two-run shot he hit earlier. No, it was a three. No, it was two. It was a three-run shot. Two earned runs in the last pitcher. That's what I was confusing myself with. Yep. There was two runners on. One of them was inherited. One of them was walked by that pitcher, and then he gave up a home run to, Dar to Dante. Yep. 1-0 oh, count on Dante. Now 2-0. Oh, fastball way above the zone. Fastball's seeming to stay up. Yeah, he's missing think? above, yeah. On the multiple of the fastballs he's thrown. His warm-ups look really good, too, but I think after that home run. After that home run, it's hard to come back. <laughs> he's probably very amped up. Pick off to first. Wow, that was a hard pick off. That ball flew off of his hand, I felt like. 2-0 count I would for Dante. Assume, Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, I would assume this pitcher's more like our almond. Probably. They're, they're like, that's what I was thinking before with his stuff, and he's throwing decently hard. He's probably their true closer. But, and he came in for what was the tightest part of the game and gave up a first pitch grand slam. Yep. That just says something about our lineup. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter who it is. Two one count on Dante Morton. And the pitch. Called strike. Looks like it was off the plate, but I guess it caught a corner. Got to be 2-2. Two -two. It's a hard pitch to hit. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for on a one-strike count. Now it's 2-2. Two -two. He's going to have to protect it. And a quick meeting between – I think his arm is hurting early from earlier. He got looked, I think I believe he got spiked on a tag play, and now he's saying something about his arm – Forearm. I don't believe that's the same 
arm that got cleated. It's not his glove arm, so maybe it's something else. But he is he's moving his arm up and down. Looks like at the right elbow. Yeah, right at the forearm or maybe the bicep, somewhere right in there. Cody going back in. He's one of the assistant coaches. Levi, our trainer out there. Yep. We'll be back in just a second. Quick break while that's being figured out. And we are back. Everything seems to have been sorted out. Dante back at the plate for a 2-2 two -two count. And that one's fouled back into the net. Remains 2-2. Two -two. Dante really geared back on that pitch. Yeah, he did. I guess something's bothering him with his right arm. He's still kind of moving it around. Two two pitched. Runner goes off the plate. He gets him a second. That was a good throw. It's a good throw, but I believe if Dante, or if sorry, excuse me, Darwin. Darwin yeah, he um, slides. If he, if he slides right there, I think he's in. Yeah, or if he slides like he does the um, swim move or anything like that, he's got Something. it. Something, But yeah. he just runs upright into the tag. Not the best move over at second. Now full count to Dante. Payoff pitch. Hard hit ball on the left side, just wow. within reach of the shortstop. A good play by the shortstop. He's off the bag. It would not be able to make the play at first base. If Darwin is still on the bags, that would be first to third more than likely for him. Yep. Great effort by the shortstop right there. Yeah, and a good job by Dante for beating it out. Uh, I believe that was Luis Mendoza. Luis Mendoza, right? Yeah. At shortstop. That was great effort by him. Um, it's just hard to make a diving play and get Dante out. Mm -hmm. That's just hard to do. Dante's a fast guy. Speaking of fast guy, a center fielder, Daniel Dryden up to bat. His last at bat, he had, he's over to the strikeout. Did he walk last time? Was that what happened? No, it was an error. And there's a pop fly high in the air. Called by the shortstop, and that will be out number three. To end the inning, and not until after the damage has been done. Four runs scored on a grand slam. Tyler Colon by TC from the bottom with the bottom of the order getting on base and TC hitting him home. Yep. That's what a lineup should do. That's the best thing a lineup can that's, do. Yeah, bottom of the order gets on even if they don't score runs, and the top of the order scores them home. That's the best thing you can do. Four runs scored, eight to three in favor of the Lions. We'll be back in the top of the fifth inning. Brian Hart up to bat in the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
We are back, top of the fifth inning. David Walker is back out there for the Lions. Coming in for his fifth inning of work, he had 99 pitches through the first four. I imagine he's not going to stay in much longer. I wager he's got one tight situation before he's out. And quickly, he's down 2-0. This is Dylan Lewis, who's one for two on this game. I'm going to take a, a guess here. I'm not certain, but... Hard hit ball down the line. We'll go just foul. Go ahead. I'm not certain, but it might be Bain in the bullpen. You think Bain might be out there? Maybe. There's a couple options. We haven't used too many arms. We haven't, it's and that's a great thing. It's been really good. We've had the starters both games so far have had a rough before David. Now, David also had a rough start, but he he was able to shut it down and get through it. Which the difference about Walker's start versus the other guy's starts. It's also the defense's fault. It was Walker's defense that kind of made it a little shaky. He wasn't getting hit. It. He's been doing a great job. Yeah. One earned run, and that one earned run came after an error yep. and extended the inning. Um, and holding his Reinhardt line up to one earned run is... It's a good job. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the first two, Cam Harvey, Clay, both had trouble getting through the first couple of innings. They got pulled, and then the reliever behind them did a good job extending innings and getting through a lot of the game. And that was, I think, a slider missed upstairs, started over his head and came back, but it was way above the zone. A timeout by the catcher. Bradley Prince going to talk to Walker. This sun is killer, I imagine, for the uh, players on the field right now. Yeah, guys on the left side, you can see the shadow. on. You can actually see it really well on the camera. The shadow is intense. The, a ball in the air looking from left field in or center field you know, towards the plate is really brutal. It's near impossible to see the ball, really. We're, I imagine we're within an hour of sunset here because sunset's a little earlier with the mountain where it is. But you're looking straight into the setting sun when you're looking up towards, like, home plate from that side, and it's very harsh. Yep. Even third base and shortstop towards, like, a high-hopping grounder or a throw can yep. be really hard to see. And after that mound meeting, we got – Richard Castro coming back up to face Walker. Runner on first, no outs. Runner tries to go. Foul. Was that not a foul tip? I no. Guess it was just a swing and a miss. Runner didn't go. I think it was a fake steal. It I've seen been. that a lot by a lot of teams. He, took, um, he had an aggressive move and got yep. Prince kind of in a hurry. Yep. 0-1 count on that swing and a miss. It might have been a hit and run called. And a hard hit line wow. up the middle to the right side. Just a good piece of hitting. Rollins coming over, making a throw into the cut, and we're going to stop at first and third. And I don't know how much longer Walker will remain out there now. I would it, assume they're about to take him out. Yeah, this is the first scenario he's been in this, in, that's been like this this game. Up until now, his base runners have been from errors or from walks, pretty much. And now, leadoff walk and then a single. Slightly different scenario than before because he wasn't getting hit. Now, first and third, no outs. Double play is possible. And there's a called strike. Great spot by Walker. Great spot. Slider back across the plate. 0-1. <clears throat> this is Nash Kroll, who had a really good first game today. 0 for 1 this game. I think he had a walk as well. And that mm. will hit him and load the bases. You know, that might have been a good thing to get him on base right there. He's been. He's uh, had a hot day today, but he hasn't done much this game. He hasn't. And there is coach, head, head coach, excuse me, head coach Clint McCauley coming out. And most likely that will be it for David Walker today. He had a great first four innings. Yep. Three runs, only one earned. Could have been none. He was an over, he had overall, like, did well, just wasn't able to get fully supported by his defense. And you were right. I was right. That is the Bain train. Chris Bain coming down, also known as Sunshine. Sunshine. And we'll be back in just a minute once he's done warming up and ready to go on the Brian Lyons Radio Network.
And we are back. New pitcher in for the Lions, Chris Bain. Got a side armor southpaw coming on. First pitch from him is going to miss off the plate for ball one. It's going to be just me for a little while. Ryan went down to go get pictures of Chris because he hasn't managed to get many this season. Like I said, he is our kind of a resident photographer for sports at Bryan. Oh, a fantastic pitch by Chris, but no call from the umpire. Dugout and crowd not happy about the call. Two zero count on Chris, and there's a called strike on the inside half. This is William Underwood at the plate for Reinhardt. Two one count now. And a grounder foul. Back into the net now. Two two. Six-hole hitter, designated hitter, Underwood. And the 2-2 two -two pitch from Bain. Slider came back, jammed him. Still remains 2-2 two -two on Underwood. And the pitch popped up. That will go foul into the trees. Count remains 2-2 two -two on Underwood. And the pitch. And that will hit him in the leg and score a run. Now eight to four, still in favor of the Lions, but the bases are loaded, so the tying run is at the plate. Looks like a pinch runner. We're going to first base for Underwood. Number three. Let's see who it is in just a second. is Luis Mendoza up to bat facing Chris Bain. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout so far this game. And the pitch catches the outside half or called strike one. And another called strike, 0-2 count on Mendoza. And the 0-2 from Chris Bain. Hit to the right side, right fielder freezing in place. He'll make the catch, throw in, runner tags from third. That will score a run on a sack fly, now eight to five. One out, runners on first and second. Double play will now end the inning. <clears throat> Up to bat next, Jamel Rookard, center fielder for Reinhardt, the replacement.
First pitch just misses off the plate, ball one. Bain sitting on that outside half, trying to paint the corner, not wanting to throw anything too far in. Especially he throws a sinker, so tails away from righties. There's a called strike. Good pitch from Bain, maybe a hair far in, but no swing. But he throws he throws sinker, so it's diving arm side and down, away from righty hitters. So if he throws it away, it's even harder to get to. And there's a slider coming back for a swing and a miss. Strike two. Well, I believe the scoreboard hasn't updated. The live one has. Our scoreboard still said no outs. There you go. It's updated now. Yeah, one, two, count, one out. Runners first and second. And the pitch from Bain misses well off the plate. Ball two. Try to go fastball there, and he kind of just left it arm. Arm side. Still 2-2 two -two on, this is Lance Dockery, actually. It hadn't updated. Ah, Dockery is big swing and a miss. Strike three. Good job by Chris Bain getting that strike out. Now two outs. So Dockery pinch hit for Rooker. Dockery was the original center fielder. And after making an error, he was pulled, and Rookard replaced him. Dockery came back in as a pinch hitter and then struck out just now. Off the bat next, we have Maurer. Maurer is pinch hitting for Martin. Dylan Martin, so he's pinch hitting for the catcher this game, who is so far 0 for 2. Maurer had a, I think he had a couple hits last game. This one will catch the outside half of the plate for strike two. O2 count for Maurer. Runners go. Grounder on the right side. Fielded cleanly by Tyler Colon. He holds off the pitcher, and that is out number three. In a tight inning, Chris Bain comes in. He allows two runs, gets out of it. Eight to three in favor of the Lions. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Lions up to bat in the Brian Lions Radio Network. We are back, bottom of the fifth inning. Lions up to bat. Leading off for the Lions, Cade Cahoon. He's 0 for 2 this game, looking for his first hit. One strikeout. New pitcher on the mound for Reinhardt. This is Brett Allen. And paused for some reason. I'm not sure what. Oh, the catcher taking a second to get out here. 
Here we go. Up to back, Cade Cahoon behind him, Cade Cook. And then Bradley Prince. After him, Alex Rollins. Pretty active bottom of the order. First pitch to Cade Cahoon will miss inside for ball one. One zero count on Cahoon. Misses off the plate, ball two. A 2-0 count, misses off the plate. Now 3-0 for Cade Cahoon. Up early, I imagine he's taking on this next pitch unless he throws it down the middle. Pitcher getting his sign. The 3-0 pitch. Misses inside, ball four on four pitches. Lead off walk by Cade Cahoon for Cade Cook coming up to bat next. Cade Cook 0 for 2 as well, looking for his first hit this game. And the next pitch, first pitch to Cade Cook, misses off the plate for ball one. Five straight balls from the new pitcher, Brett Allen. A 1 0 count. There's a called strike. His first strike in six pitches. And back with me in the booth after taking some pictures of Chris Bain. We've got Ryan Ely rejoining. Hi. Welcome back. And there's a bunt, but he just misses it. He's not happy about that. Bunted back. It's great to be broadcasting. <laughs> I actually have found this fun, so it's it's pretty chill sometimes. Yeah, especially in games like this. The weather's been very nice today. And the weather, yep. And that grand slam earlier was so fun. A one two count on Cade Cook, runner at first. Hard hit on the left side that will go foul. It's gonna be picked up by head coach Clint McCauley. He's gonna show off his arm, throwing it back to the dugout. And uh, Buff, I don't know how much you set on. Bain's outing right there, but I think that was huge for him. It was his, really big. His past outings have not been, like, amazing, but they've been good. But that outing was great. Yeah. And a really good take just now by Cade Cook on a ball just off the plate, 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, Chris Bain, we'll say specifically, his struggle has been keeping the ball on the ground yep. and avoiding barrels, and that one – he did a really good job of that. He found his groove. He did what he's planning to do. There's a big swing and a miss. That'll be strike three on Cade Cook on a ball above the zone. Got a little bit over eager right there. But, uh, yeah, Chris Bain, he had a goal. He's trying to keep it down on the ground. Yep. Bad contact, no hard hits, and he did that. And he came in. He came in bases loaded, gave yep. up two. But it, one was a sack fly. Yep. He got the out he was looking for, and it's still a three-run difference, which is uh, we'll take it. He did a fantastic job for how he got put in. And yep. also, props to the coach for putting him in, him in to that position. Yep. It kind of helped him out that he was up. Five what, runs. Five runs. Yeah, it was 8-3, now it's 8-5. It's not as much of a pressure, but it's Oop. still, he's still got to be competitive, you know. Up to bat next, we have Bradley Prince. He's one for one. So far, and the first pitch nearly hits him inside. 1-0 count. Runner on first, one out. And behind him, Alex Rollins. We've been hyping up this whole time. It's been nice to see. And there's a hard hit foul ball lined up and over. Brad's been getting on base. He's been he's done a really good job getting on base. Uh, For guys getting on base, him and Dante have been fantastic. Yep. And he's he's just been the guy, like a catcher. He's got a really good eye for the zone. That is awesome defensively. And he does a lot of glue work in the lineup, I would say. Kind of helps them piece together yeah. different parts of the lineup. And that one misses inside, ball two. What Something interesting about Bradley Prince is, and they joke about this, 
he hates catching. Yep. And he's a great catcher. And so he, and he basically they'll say he's the best catcher who doesn't like catching. Yep. And he's just good at it. And that one misses well inside. Runner goes to second. He's safe. He is safe on that one. Not even a question there. Yep. A good, good job, job by that is Cade Cahoon. I think if Darwin had a slide similar to that, he would have been a similar play. Uh, His was a little closer, but because Cade is faster, I believe, mm -hmm. or at least had a better jump there. That pitch will run the count full 3-2. And the payoff pitch to Bradley Prince misses above the zone ball four. Another walk for Brad. And a walk for Brad. Brad has a 1,000 on base percentage this yep. game. One for one, a couple of walks. And Done a really good job. Cade Cahoon was the leadoff batter for this inning, correct? He was. Cade Cahoon walked, a long walk. That made our leadoff on base percentage an 800 for yep. this game. We've done a fantastic that job. That is incredible for a game. Yep. Because if you have your leadoff runner getting on every inning, that's zero outs with the runner on base. Yep. Makes it so much easier to score. That's a slider first pitch to Rollins. An 0-1 count. Honestly, I think just a year ago, you wouldn't see pitchers throwing sliders first pitch to him. Nope. They'd be blowing fastballs by him. His approach at the plate and his ability to hit has ju just gone up significantly in the last year. And that one's fouled to the right side, up and out of play. 0-2 pretty quickly on Rollins. He's been done a great job. I mean, he gets in these 0-2 counts, mm -hmm. but he battles and yep. almost every time makes them 3-2. I believe he's 0-2 for two with two walks this game. If I remember correctly, let me find him. 0 for 1, I mean. 0 for 1, one walk, his third at bat. There's a ground ball on the ground of the shortstop. He's going to go to second, throw to first, and he beats out another double play. Yep. And that wasn't useless either. Fielder's choice, he moves the runner to third base. I will say uh, poor choice by the shortstop right there. To take it? To take it. He was very far from the bass, or yep. er, bake. <laughs> From the bag? From the bag. You, you combine the two, bag and, and base. Yep, sorry. Um, yeah, he was very far. He probably should have tossed it to his second yeah. baseman right there. When you got a fast runner like Rollins, yeah. you've got to take no the way. quickest possibility. So now two outs, runners on first and third. Tyler Cullen up to bat. <laughs> if Rollins had been able to hit that out of the infield, we might have had a repeat of the last scenario yep. of Tyler Cullen coming up, bases loaded. So this time, two outs. I think he came, he came up last time it was no outs. Yep. Three straight runners on. But two outs, 0-1 uh, count. That's another called strike, 0-2. Isn't Just this the same pitcher he hit? Or no, no, no. No, this Never is a new mind. guy. He started this inning. Yep. He's one strikeout, two-thirds of an inning, couple of walks so Which far. Which he pitched in the last game, didn't he? Three innings? I don't believe so. No? I don't, they didn't use all that many. And runner goes. <laughs> I believe, actually, that should have been a balk. Did he? I believe he stepped off. He stepped off? Okay. Yeah. That <laughs> I haven't. Okay, he was two-thirds of the way to second. Now, that was risky. Two outs. It was. But because of the potential runner at third going home, if he doesn't get the out at second, he held up. I believe they could take that chance with Rawlings right there. Yeah. Um, he He's had fast. the speed to get in a yeah. rundown. Well, and he had such a good jump. If the pitcher hadn't taken so long with the pitch, he, yep. there would have been zero chance of getting in. Yep. A 1-2 count. Tyler Cullen, a hard hit ball oh my to gosh. left center field. Are we getting a repeat? We are getting a repeat. That's a two-home run game by Tyler Cullen and a three-run shot for his back-to-back -back home runs and it back. Wow. What? Tyler Cullen has blown open the game by himself. What a game by Tyler Cullen. Absolute MVP of game three in this series. By himself, that makes him have seven RBIs, RBIs. Yes. in this game. In this game. Seven of the runs on that board are his. Out of the eight. And then you forget after he hits or that home now run. now 11. Right behind him, Bryson Lofton. Lofton's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. This will be his fourth plate appearance this game. Still two outs. It is now an 11-5 game. And the Lions have scored three or more runs for three innings in a row. Now, I, I, on our stat sheet right here on the iPad, 
One category we do not have that we should add pitch. is home runs. A home runs? Because of the amount of home runs we've had. Well, there's your scoring plays. Yeah. And there's a hard hit ball by Lofton to center field. He'll catch it on the edge of the warning track. Wow. Well hit, but not far enough to go out at the 400-foot dead center mark. And that will end the inning with the damage has been done. Three yep. runs scored on one swing by Tyler Cullen. Now 11-5 to five in favor of the Lions. We'll be back in the top of the sixth inning for the last couple of innings on the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, top of the sixth inning. Reinhardt up to bat, Lions back in the field. New pitcher on the mound for the Lions. Another lefty, and the first pitch from him is a called strike one right over the plate. This is Cam Fuque. This is just, what, his third varsity appearance of the year? Uh, I, third? I thought he's been injured he all has been, the whole year. And it's been three in a row. Okay. He, he didn't pitch all of the fall and most of this spring, and I believe he's had now, this is his third time getting to pitch on the mound for varsity. Okay. Uh, and then he had one essentially rehab appearance with our JV team yep. a couple weeks ago, right before they and like, said he was good to go. He's been looking promising. He's been fantastic. Uh, we've been missing him all season yep. as a lefty reliever. Uh, he, had, he had a couple surgeries, some stuff to deal with all the way up until now, and he's been rearing to go for months. And there's another called strike, 2-2. Yep. Yeah, this is Cam Fuqua. We call him Cowboy. Yep. Everybody calls him Cowboy. He's super Southern. We have a few Cowboys, I would say, honestly. We have a few on Cowboys, but he's he's the one Cowboy yep. for our varsity squad. It's he's a super nice guy, too. Not Very just, nice guy. Not just a nice pitcher to have. And that one just misses above the zone. 3-2 count. And one of my favorite things about Fuqua is his changeup. Yeah. His changeup is... Crazy. Uh, the last time I saw it in live, mm -hmm. lefty um, change up over the top. Yeah, that was was that it? Was that a two seam? No, that looked like a two seam fastball. And there's him. a ground ball right to the shortstop. Routine play by Morton. That's and the one thing about out. Fuquay. Yeah, he he gets outs. Yeah, he just get he just got a ground ball right there. No question. Yeah, like three two count. He looked fine. Yeah, he, he wasn't nervous. There wasn't a question of whether he was going to throw a strike. It was whether it was going to be hit or not. Mm -hmm. And now up to bat, Tucker Zunich. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout this game. And the first pitch from Fuque. Just misses. A fantastic spot. Looked a little high, maybe. Right there. I don't know. But it just missed. I think maybe just off the plate is what he gave. Yep. 
He's kind of have a tight right to left zone, especially away pitches. It has been the kind of iffy calls today. And mm -hmm. that one, that wasn't really questionable. Right at his back, hit Zunich between the shoulder blades for a one out runner on. Now, lefty on the mound, it's not really a worry having a guy on first base. No. And there's especially a the runner not being too fast. Yeah. I don't there's not really also it's not really a question that he's gonna pick off or not. Lefty with a runner on first. If he takes any kind of real lead, he's gonna be thrown over. Up to bat next, Dylan Lewis. He's one for two this game, and he nearly hits him. Brad did a good job keeping that in front of him. 1-0 count on Lewis. A 1 0 count. And the pitch. Hard hit to center field. Way in the air. That might be trouble. Dryden slowing down. Oh, almost oh. makes the catch of the warning track. Keeps it in the yard. He'll throw that one in. Runners are going to stop at second and third. Wow. That was almost an incredible catch. Yep. And also almost a home run. That ball off of his glove nearly went over, and if it does that, it's a home run. Mm -hmm. That will be, I think they have to call that a hit with how far he hit it. I believe so. We'll see. It was a hard play. Yeah, they're going to call that a double. So they're going to stop at second and third. A one-out hit. Now some trouble on the base pads for Cowboy. And Richard Castro up to bat. I think he's been the most productive hitter for them this game. He's two for three with an RBI. And there's a line drive to the right side. There's another RBI for Castro. And not only that, if there's no shift, that's a routine ground ball. Yep. The shift has not been doing them many favors this game. Three three guys on the left side, and that's hit right where the second baseman usually is. Yep. They're just beating the shift today. Well, Nash Kroll up to bat. He had a great first game today. He's over for one so far with a, what, two walks? One walk. Maybe a walk and hit by pitch, something like that. You Kroll. can go by spot, and it orders them where they are in the lineup. Yeah. Makes it easier to read. He's Kroll. fifth. Yeah. He has over one, one AB, walk. one walk. He must have had a hit by pitch because this should I be I believe so, yep. Well, actually, some guys have four. He must have two hit by pitches. I don't believe this is or updated. He might have a sack fly. Let's see here. This one hits the backstop. Runner moves from first to second. I believe he had a sack fly, yep. He's 0 for 1, though. I looked at up here. All the scoring plays are right here. So he'd be in here. If, yep, he walked. Yeah, that's all we got. Yep. All right. A 1 0 count on Crowell. Runners at second and third again. One out, <clears throat> a ball on the ground would be really good. Keep him in. This one just misses above the zone. 2-0. Cam Fuqua looking good after the first out, but getting a little banged up after. That one misses up and in. Like a slider coming back. He yep. left it above the zone. Now, Reinhardt's one for six with runners in scoring position. We've got two for him right now. Um, There's a walk that will load the bases. Coach Clint McCauley coming out. He's going to come talk to Cam Hart. He points to the bullpen. That will be it. Yep. For Cam Fuquay on the mound. He got one out, and then after consecutive. How did the first runner get on? Was it a walk? Let's see. Yeah, look at the all the way to the top. All the way up. Yeah. So he came in. Oh, Stradley is in for Cade Cook in left field. Oh, we didn't notice that. Yeah, we didn't realize that. That's why this area is useful. Um, it was a hit by pitch for Zunich. Yep. And then that double that was almost an out. 
and then a single that scored a run, now two on, and then he just loaded it with a walk. And, and now, now Allman. Allman's in. This is his second outing today, isn't it? Yes. So Allman's coming back in. We'll be back in just a second once he is ready to go on the Lions Radio Network. And we are back on the mound for the Lions in place of Cam Fuqua. We've got Jacob Allman, the regular closer, making his second appearance today. First pitch from him. This is just off the plate for ball one. Uh, one, one. This is... Marcario Allen, I think he's he's over. He's over. I think he's got one walk. Yep. I remember he came up one time before. This one misses above the zone. Two one now. Looks like he was a pinch runner. They okay. subbed him in. Okay, and so then maybe, left him in. Maybe he didn't hit last time. Yep. That one's a called strike. Now two two. Good spot on the inside half. <coughs> Base is loaded for Reinhardt right here. They haven't been great this game with the runners in scoring position, only going one for six. That one misses just off the play at a really good spot. That'll load the count. Scoreboard's got it wrong. Should be 3-2. Base is loaded. You really want a ball on the ground. Yeah. You can roll a double play, at least get the out at home. Yep. I'm surprised they're not playing infield in. That one's fouled straight back. Remains 3-2. I would have to say they're looking for the double play ball. That's why they're not in. Um Big lead, so, and I, I think they trust Allman enough to, I mean, of course they trust Allman because they put him in this situation. This one's popped up down the left field line, well foul. Oop. Almost caught by a fan. The fact that we have fans all the way down there. <laughs> well, that's actually, I think some varsity guys tend to hang out on that end, but it's like well past the away dugout up on the hill. Yep. There's a lot of people here. That one misses up and in. Base is loaded. Walk will score a oh run. No. And it's now a four-run ball game. That's probably one of the... Probably the worst thing you could do there. Not the worst. Um, there's, there's worse. There's but worse. It's just coming in and giving up that walk is probably, like, puts a down kind of mood. Yep on the situation. It's hard to come back from that. Yeah. Up to bat next, we have Luis Mendoza. He's 0 for 2 with an RBI and a strikeout. I believe he has one sack fly this game. 
That'd be a sack of fun. Mendoza has a RBI this game. He yeah. struck he struck out once as well. Yeah, I think he's got a sack fly because he's over two. This should be his fourth appearance. Yeah. Wow, one zero count. I don't know where that missed. Maybe a hair high. It looked a little high. Yeah, two zero now. Prince taking a timeout. It's calling yep. the infield in to talk real quick. Yep. Good good timeout by Bradley Prince right here. He needs to. He's gonna calm down Allman. Get the guys together. I feel like Bradley Prince is a good leader. Yep. He's um, done a good job. Fifth year senior, I believe. Yep. He. He knows how a baseball game should go, and he knows that he needs to settle to get his guys down right here. And they're up by four runs. They just need to get out of this. Yep. You can give up a run or two, but you got to get out of the inning. Yep. Now 2-0, one out on Mendoza. The Reinhardt dugout getting very loud, trying to get, trying to distract Allman at the mound. Still got the sun in play on the left side of the field, yep. so we'll see if that has any effect. 2-0 pitch. Called strike on the outside half. There you go, Allman. There we go. Good pitch. Gets his sign. Hard hit up the middle. Missed by the shaded over second baseman. That will score a run. No runner going for. And they'll hold up. On the base pads, one run will score. I think the shift actually worked for that. It's just a misread. They, he just didn't field it. It's just a misread. I feel like he didn't go like deep. Take, take he was exactly where he angle. needed to be. I think he just didn't. He just missed it. He didn't feel it. It's a it. hard hit too. It's though. a hard hit. Now I wouldn't say that's an easy play, but he was ex the shift. That's the one time he's been the right spot from the shift. Yep. And it just didn't it work out. Didn't work out. Now up, Lance Dockery. Reinhardt center fielder. And a called strike one. Docker, he came in for his oh. replacement. Yep. Wait, no, Rooker came in. Yeah, Rooker was the defensive replacement after Docker made an error. Okay. And then Docker pinch hit for Rooker and stayed in the game last at bat. Okay. So Docker must be the better hitter, but Rooker came in as a defensive sub after he made a mistake in the field. He missed a routine fly ball by Daniel Dryden earlier. Yep. 0 2. Hard hit up the middle. Caught there in the go. air. There we go. And he's going to tag the base for a double play. That is what we needed right there. That is what we've been needing for defense. He made up for that first play by making that double play yep. right there. Now he was stumbling, trying really hard to get to that base. We needed that, though. The hard line drive right at Cahoon. Yep. So a three-run lead, three runs given up in the top of the sixth, up 11-8. to eight, The Lions are right hard, eight runs on six hits, giving up three errors. Lions, 11 runs on six hits. We've given up two errors. 11-8 ball game. We'll be back in the bottom of the sixth. The Lions, a chance to add to that lead for the fifth inning in a row. Yep. We'll be back on the Lions Radio Network. And we are back, bottom of the sixth inning. Lions up to bat. Darwin Gregg leading off for the Lions. He's one for two with a strikeout this game. And first pitch is a big swing and a miss by Gregg. This is Brett Allen on the mound for Reinhardt. Second inning of work this game. Actually, his second outing of the day. He pitched three innings earlier in game one. Yep. That one a miss up and out. Ball one. This pitcher's pitched a lot then. And he's thrown a lot. Let me double check. I believe his pitch count wasn't low either when he came out last time. Uh, 
That one misses inside. Almost hit Darwin. Ball two, yeah, real close. Pitches, he threw 30. So, actually, he went three innings with 30 pitches. He didn't throw too many, but he did pitch. And that one's a foul tip straight back. Now 2-2 two, two on the count. Let's see if Darwin can create a spark. This one's ground on the left side that will go foul towards the away dugout. Still 2-2 two, two count on Darwin. And the pitch. Mm. Called strike three on the outer half of the plate. I believe that's the second time Darwin struck out on a pitch like that. I think it's the third time today. Third time. I think he had one earlier and one in the first game. Mm. That it's seems to be his main issue right now is now it may not always be his fault because yep. I'm not sure all of them were strikes, yep. but he needs to foul those pitches off. If it's close enough to get called, you need to foul those off yep. or just hit it the other way. Yep. First pitch to Darwin. It's going to be fouled back into the net. 0-1 count. He is two for three this game with three RBIs on that home run he hit earlier. He's done a yep. fantastic job. He has. And he's walked several times this game. That was way off the plate for ball one. Easy take for Don Taylor. <laughs> Not right even there. a question on that one. Um, I think I said Darwin. Dante. He has not walked this game. He walked several times last game. That'll be foul. Yeah, this one's popped way up and out of play. A roll down the hill towards the turtle. A 1-2 count on Morton. And the pitch. Inside. Check swing. Did he go? He hmm. says he went, and that's out number two. Check swing strikeout on Dante Morton. I'm not sure if he actually went right there. Yeah, his hands stopped moving. I think he I, was here. I believe he moved because his shoulders moved. Yeah. I don't really think that's a swing, is I it? I think he only cares about how far the bat went around. Yeah. And if that's the cr criteria, it was close. Yeah. It was close. And he does theoretically have the best view on the field of that. Yeah. Actually, honestly, the dugouts have the best field, but uh, the best field of view. First pitch to Dryden hit hard on the left side, fielded by the third baseman, oh. and dropped by the third baseman. Dryden has had two errors to get on base. Yep. <laughs> and the fan. Ah, oh, some funny comments by the spectators. Great day out here, you know, Brian College baseball field. That is the second error by Turney over at third base. Yep. But he's not getting replaced instantly when it happens. Mm -mm. So up to bat, Cade Cahoon. That's a called strike on the outside half. No question there. Yep. O oh, one count on Cahoon. And the pitch up in the zone. Misses for ball one. Dryden on first base, taking the aggressive lead. 1-1. One, one. Two outs, runner on first. And this one's fouled back into the net for strike two. Now, looking at some of the stats for Reinhardt's pitching, honestly, I don't really see a huge difference between their pitching and our pitching for the second game. We've just hit home runs. It's just been we've been producing and they haven't. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have produced. They've scored eight runs, but we've just done more. Well, and it doesn't help. They've given up three errors. We've given up two. That you is another away, factor. You take away all the errors, and I think we have six runs yep. because of home runs. Six or seven runs. Well, yeah, we would have seven because those were walks and home runs that led to all of our the seven in the third and fourth inning. This one's fouled back. That'll go straight up and over on the hill. It'll land behind the home dugout. 2-2 two -two count. Dryden having to jog back to first base. Two-two count and the pitch, fouled back once again. Cade Cahoon doing a fantastic job not letting any close pitches by. Yep. This is what you want to see. Two-two, three-two count. Outside pitches, you just put a piece of the bat on them, let them go foul. Find your pitch that you're looking for and you hit it. 
2-2 pitch again. Way off the plate. Runner goes. No throw. Great steal. Actually, it was a throw to, to the pitcher. Huh. Caught, it was cut off by the pitcher, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Dryden did a good job there. I'm not sure they would have had a play anyway. He's yeah. fast. And he had a good jump. Let's see if Cade Cahoon can get his first hit of the yeah. game right here. Yeah, 0 for 2, one strikeout, maybe one walk. Full count. And the payoff pitch to Cahoon. Oh, Hard hit wow. ball. That ball's hammered, but it's foul. Foul. Wow, that ball was hit hard. He just saw slider inside, and he just turned on it. That's what Dante did earlier. Yep. The difference was Dante's slider was over the middle. His was inside. Cahoon's was inside. That was yep. the difference. He turned on it more. Yeah, Dante managed to keep his. No, Dante's was barely fair. He yeah. hit his far. This one's grounded hard on the right side. Taken on the second hop by the second baseman. He'll throw to first and make it in time for out number three. No runs scored, no hits, one error. We'll be back in the top of the seventh, 11-8 Lions. Reinhardt up to bat in the Brian Lions Radio Network. And we are back, top of the seventh inning, last inning of the game, barring tying it. And leading off for Reinhardt, we have Adrian Vargas pinch hitting for Martin. For what, was it, what is Martin's first name? Let me double check. There's been a lot of scoring happening this game. We're going to scroll pretty far. Oh, wrong way. Martin down here. Dylan Martin, the catcher, and he's being pinched for, hit for for the second time by Adrian Vargas. And a 1-1 count on him. This is Tanner Everett, new pitcher on the mound for the Lions, coming in for Jacob Allman. Also known as Tev. Yeah, it's Tev. we got a lot of nicknames for guys. And there's a called strike two. Now it's a 2-2 count. Tev's been a consistent pitcher for us. Yep. We... We like to put him in and just let him settle in for about three innings, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, but now he's coming in in a closing situation. And there's a called or a swing and a miss for strike three. And he struck out the first batter of the inning. He's starting off hot. Yeah, he's doing a great job. That's how you want to start an inning in the last inning of the game. Last three outs, now down to two. Up to bat, Jarrett Bernie, top of the order for Reinhardt. Bernie's 0 for 3 this game with a strikeout. Yep. Does he have a walk? He has one walk. So one. fifth plate appearance. One walk, one strikeout. This one's hit right up the middle. And that is a seeing eye single. 
Yep. It's a liner up the middle, out of reach. Not even a, not even the uh, shift would have helped him there. Nope. That was just out of reach. Notice they didn't shift on him. I don't think they have been. But I know they have been for uh, number seven, uh, Tucker yeah, Zunick. For, for two through five, they've been shifting on all of them, back and forth all over the field. Yep. And they are, they're shifting over. Uh, yep, there it is. Dante just crossed over second base. Yep. That one's inside. Back pick to first base. Almost a – it was not a great throw. Good pick by – TC did a great job keeping that ball, ball in front of him and catching it. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Hopefully I don't do that too much over the air. A 1-0 count on Tucker Zunich. This is – yeah. Zunich is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. There's a called strike on the outside half. A great. really good spot by Everett. Two more outs away from winning a series against against Reinhardt, who Reinhardt. is twenty eight and twelve after game two. Yep. Out of forty games, they won twenty eight. They've been a really impressive team this year so far. They've won seventy percent of their games. Yep. They even swept Tennessee Wesleyan, which yep. is a known con like contender for the one spot every yep. year. They're usually first in the conference and like top five in the country. Yep. And there's I don't know where that missed at. What believably should be 1-2 is now a 2-1 count. Crowd's getting riled up again. So is the dugout. Yeah, both dugouts are getting riled up. Really important part of the game. Runner on first. Hard hit foul ball on the ground. That'll go past Chris Bain as he walks back down to the bullpen. Bain's already in his uh, pants, it looks like. Or no. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. I have black pants on today. Yeah. 2-2 two, two count to Tucker Zunich. And the pitch popped straight up. That may stay in play. It is Should close. be Bobo's ball. He'll make yep. the catch, and that's out number two. Reinhardt is down to one out in the series. One out. One out. And it looks like we are, well, I'm not going to say that just yet. I believe you can say it. We can, nope, we can wait. Until after this last out. Up to bat, Dylan Lewis, the most productive player this game for Reinhardt. He's two for three. Been very impressive in this series. This is a really big matchup at this point in the game. Lewis and Castro, the two, really the two only productive players this game by Reinhardt. So an important out for Tev in the first game. Will, the first pitch will miss be ball one. This is probably Reinhardt's hitter that they won't at the plate in these yeah. types yeah. of situations. Lewis and Castro. Lewis two for three. Castro three for four. Lewis has the one walk yep. of the two of them. They're look, in the, the heart of the order right now. Yeah. This is, well, and if you look behind them, no hit, no hit, no hit, no hit. So this is the two guys yep. you worry about. And that one's hit hard up the middle. It's going to bounce off the center field wall. Center fielder was playing way over to the left side on the pull side. And that will be... A double, two-out double, runners on second and third. They hold them up at third right there. Yeah. I think they could have made it. Well, if you think about it this way, his run doesn't matter. Yep. You're you don't right. You don't want to risk out number three for a two-run loss. You're right. Whereas now, tying runs at the plate, it only matters if he gets a hit anyway. Yep. So I, I respect the decision to hold him up there. You risk ending the game if you send him home and he gets out, and it's only a two-run difference. We have a pinch runner in for Lewis now. I do not know who it is, though. It'll show just there a it is. Doyle. Doyle. Now let's see what this first name is. This is... Oh, no. Nope. I don't want you to move like that. Parker Doyle. Yes. Pinch runner. And that'll be a foul tip to the back net. 0-1 count. We got a pinch hitter for profit with Castro going in for him. 0 1 count on Castro. Wait, no. Castro's pinch hitting for profit, it says. 0 2 count now. Swing and a miss by number 12. Reinhardt Castro. down to their last strike of the game. Really big spot for Everett. He's getting his sign from the pitch calm. 0-2, two outs, runner on second and third. 
And the pitch. Called strike, strike three. three, and that is the ball game. The Brian Lions have defeated <laughs> Reinhardt. Right, the Lions take two out of three against Reinhardt. Final score, eight, 11 to eight. Reinhardt, eight runs on eight hits, three errors. Lions, 11 runs on six hits, two errors. And I believe we are run, one run score, one run short. I'm already getting tired of talking at this point. Mm. One run short of 60 runs on the series. Wow. That's incredible. That's a lot of runs. I believe it was 59 total runs. Wow. Either 58 or 59. Really close. I did not want to say that with two outs because I'm like, what if they <laughs> score two more runs? I would like I, to say that because I didn't want of the that great to hitting that we and Reinhardt have. Great hitting. There's been a lot of walks on both sides. They have. There has And been. I think you combine those two, you're going to get a lot of runs. You should. Yep. Um, that'll be it for the ball game. And we'll be back. Uh, let's see. When's the Lions next game? Hmm. Is it? Do we have a Tuesday game? Yeah, our next games that will be at home, Montreat on the 26th. That'll be next time you hear from us. That'll be it for today. We'll see you all next time on the Lions Radio.